Hi there, once again, I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. In today's story, I'm going to show you how to automatically number rows in Excel. So, you know, within Excel, you can easily create a pattern. So, let's say, for instance, I want to create a pattern and say one, two, and I want to number the rest of my cells. I can easily select the first two and then drag it, and it's going to number the rest for me. But what happens if I select some few cells and then I delete them? You can see that my pattern has been destroyed. Okay, it's no more following the pattern that I want. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the rule formula or rule function to correct this. So we're going to find a way to do this. And this time around, when we create that pattern, automatically, anytime we delete any of these cells or numbers, it will reorder the rules for us. So we're going to do that in a bit. So watch out, I'm going to create this. Remember, if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video. And remember to also like and share this video with friends as well. So let's see how we can do that. So instead of going with this pattern that I'm going to face challenge anytime I delete any of my, my rules, I'll either go for equal to, I'll use this formula rule. And with this rule, it's better to take one argument. But in this case, I'm not going to use any one argument. So you just type rule this way and then hit enter. So you can see it's given us a row number. So basically this row function will give you the row number. So it's telling us that we are the row one. So if you drag this down, just select and drag it down. It's going to give you the numbers for the rows. So you can see basically it's doing the same thing that we we did. Okay. It's basically doing the same thing. But what happened if you delete any of these source now? Okay, let's delete a cell and see what is going to happen. So you can see this one actually went ahead to reorder the entire row numbers for us. So this, is, so basically this will sort out everything for you, sort out your numbers for you, and it's basically more productive than using the previous one. Okay, so this is basically what I want to teach you in this short tutorial. Aside that also. You can also specify the rule you want. So let's say, for instance, I type in rule. In this case, I can specify the cell. So we see we have one reference over here. So I can just put in A1. A1 and it's going to give me one over here. So assuming, let's see, let me add one new rule over here. I'm going to insert a new rule over here. Okay, see, it has already ordered this for me. So it's not starting from two. So let's say we have something like this. Let's say we put a number here, a number here, and let's say I want to start the I want to start numbering for one. I want to number from one. I want the number one to start from here. We can go ahead and then do that. So in this case, you just have to put what row one here, and you can see it's going to be one. So all you have to do is just drag it down, and it's basically going to work for you. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and share with friends i'm always going to be there and then bring you more tips in computer programming excel and other tips general tips in it in order not to miss all my upcoming videos you need to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification button like come your way again stay tuned and stay safe bye bye